When I turned pro in 2009, you know, it was a goal that I set out to do when I when I started competing at 20 years old. And, you know, I went through so many obstacles to get there and, you know, just year after year, you know, coming up short and then once I finally nailed it in 2009, you know, it was a feeling that you know, you just can't explain how you felt because it took about six months before it actually sunk in that I turned pro. Because you work so hard for something and it finally happens, it's just something you can't explain. Oh, I mean, like now, like when I look back on it, everything I've done, everything I went through, you know, it was 100% worth it because I set out to, to be a professional bodybuilder and I didn't fail at it. And, you know, that's something that, you know, I could be proud of. Ah, oh, the Australian. <laughs> um, before, before I went to Australia, you know, everything was perfect. You know, my physique, my conditioning. And for me to travel outside the U.S. was the first time I did. And it was, it was hard because I wasn't used to flying for 25 hours. You know, I was only used to flying in the U.S., not internationally. So, you know, that was one thing that I had to overcome, trying to get the water weight off me and just trying to dry out to bring my conditioning perfect for that show. But overall, competing in Australia, you know, taking seventh place out of that type of lineup, you know, I was happy with the outcome. You know, the fans greeted me, you know, as if I was the winner. And, you know, I built a huge fan base, you know, once I left, you know, while I was there, once I left. And it's, I'm definitely looking forward to going back there. Um, well, you know, first it was Australia, now I'm in Paris, like you said. Uh, yeah, I guess I am becoming a world traveler because after this, then I have Germany, then I have Spain. So it's something for me, I want to start uh, marketing myself internationally because like I said before, I basically market myself in the U.S. And, you know, through social media, you know, I've been, you know, putting myself out there through Europe, you know, all internationally. And, you know, I'm just looking forward to meeting all the fans out here um, and just build a great relationship with them. Oh, it's an honor, you know, like when they uh, contacted me, you know, it was, you know, it was, it was awesome, you know, I was like, all right, this is great, they're an international company, you know, they're just starting out in the U.S., but I knew um, from previous athletes that they're, they're huge in Europe, and that was that's just a big opportunity for me um, to get traveling and, you know, meet all the fans in Europe and just become part of a team and grow with them as my career, my career progresses as a pro. QMT, like with their products, you know, it makes, it makes things a lot easier as I'm traveling with them. You know, if I don't have my meals with me, I can always have a QMT protein shake. You know, just makes things so much easier for me. I'm 28, and I started training when I was, uh, I want to say 10, 11 years old, but seriously training probably about 14, 15 years old. And that was something my, my dad actually got me into. And everyone asked me if my dad was a bodybuilder, but he wasn't. You know, my dad was just a big advocate of, you know, guys from the 70s, you know, Arnold, you know, the Hulk, Bufregno. And one day, you know, we were um, actually watching the movie Pump and Iron, and that actually inspired me to want to look like Arnold. So I remember asking my dad, you know, could I look like that too? And he was like, sure. He goes, let me just show you a few things, you know, in our basement. And since the first day I picked up a weight, you know, it just, um, it just became, I don't know, it was fun. Yeah, I'll be competing in FIBA in three weeks. And uh, as far as meeting Arnold, you know, I've already met him several times. And yo, it's tough. <laughs> Well, I didn't actually get to meet him, meet him. You know, he had so much security around him, but I did get to shake his hand, and, you know, I did have, you know, a billion questions for him, but, you know, with all the security, and, no, I actually shook his hand really soft, but, you know, it's, as many questions as I had, when I had a split second to ask him, nothing came out of my mouth. So, but, you know, all in all, you know, just to shake his hand was, it was all, it was great. 
Uh, body part wise, is actually my favorite are my calves. That's my best act. That's my best uh, feature is my calves. So if you want to. Okay, and those are something that I was actually born with. I was born with big legs and you know from wrestling playing football They just seem to develop on their own uh, The next goal is to win a pro show and step on the Olympia stage in September